Do you want to tell it? No, you can tell it. Okay. <laughs> You're just not telling the story. So. Well, we met on Match.com, so we're an online love story. <laughs> um, I had moved back to Fresno after college, and some girlfriends had got me onto Match, and then um, I had a very wide search <laughs> as far as location goes, and uh -huh. so he, um, I think I winked at you, and then yeah. you wrote to me. So, and he was living in Santa Barbara area. Okay, and you were back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so okay. we did long distance for six months, and then got engaged, and then got married yeah. at like 11 months, and <laughs> here we are. I come from a background of entrepreneurs. My dad owns his own business, and something that's always been a goal of mine is opening a business. So, like, in one of our first dates, just a conversation that came up, and like hey, I eventually want to open something on my own. Are you cool with that? And she's like, absolutely, let's do it. Let's, you know, let's, let's figure out something. And so we threw around a couple different ideas. And um, one day we just were kind of like, you know what? Fresno's missing is ice cream. And she was like, I should see if I can make good ice cream. <laughs> and we kind of fooled around with it. And this was a little bit over a year ago. And we just started kind of fooling around with some recipes. And we had some favorite ice cream places in big cities, like in San Francisco, Byright, or um, McConnell's, which is in Santa Barbara. And actually, on our first date, we went to McConnell's. I was like, hey, we're just going to walk around the corner. And then, like, six miles later, we finally got to this ice cream <laughs> shop in Santa Barbara. Yeah. And uh, so it like it kind of like reconnected to a lot of things that was throughout our relationship. And she made ice cream, and I tried it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Let's try something different. And so we just kind of built off of that. Not too long, actually. I think I probably started with some pretty good recipes, and then I just tweaked it. So the main thing with ice cream is butter fat, and mm -hmm. so how much cream to milk to egg. Maybe took a month. I mean, <laughs> yeah. just a month. <laughs> Maybe a month. Because, you know, you like to eat ice cream, so you just kind of kept trying and giving it to friends and family. And what do you think of this one? How's this chocolate versus this chocolate? We have some interesting flavors that we do that I think definitely match to that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think uh, it, it's hard because we, we haven't done an actual blind tasting side by mm -hmm. side, but when I have a, a, one of our new flavors or she makes something new, I taste it and it's like my first time going to one of those particular ice cream shops. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And like, you just want, kind of want more and more. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's continued to be like that. And I think we have some very big <laughs> ice cream critics that are friends that have been over for dessert or been over for different things. And a lot of them are like, this is the best ice cream I've ever had. I really treasured our discerning palate friends. <laughs> our self-proclaimed foodies and chefs and people that have spent a lot of time around food in general. And once I got their approval, I was like, all right, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> Uh, our goal is to be in the Tower, uh, Fresno High area is where our goal is. One of the things we thought of was the old-fashioned ice cream makers that were wood and iron, mm -hmm. and you crank it and you have the, I, the rock ice in the side. And so kind of taking those elements and putting them in our space somehow. So lots of neutrals, um, wood, iron pieces, some glass, um, things like that. A big part of our budget will be that space that you walk into because we want you to come and stay and we want you to feel proud to bring friends there. We want you to, you know, when your girlfriends come from San Francisco, be like, you got to come to Ampersand. It's just like, you know, something you would see at home. We have a whiskey caramel swirl um, and it's a whiskey caramel swirled in our vanilla ice cream. Um, and it can come, the whiskey caramel can come as a topping or we actually will serve it like actually already swirled or ribbed in, into the ice cream. Um, and then a lot of people have really liked our Rocky Road as a traditional flavor. Uh, we hand make our own marshmallows. Uh, we're using Fresno, Fresno almonds um, and then a dark chocolate like base to that. And so it just the whole freshness feel of it. Like people eat the ice cream, the marshmallows, and they're like, oh my gosh, these aren't just like marshmallows you buying from the supermarket. These are something that are fresh. And there's mm -hmm. that different taste level in that that you can see. The strawberry bazalmic has also become very popular as well. So it's a strawberry ice cream, which is great because Fresno has so many strawberries. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll be getting those locally. And then it's a balsamic glaze. So it's a reduced balsamic honey glaze that we uh, swirl in, fold in. Whether that's you're, you're coming on your first date, you're coming to celebrate anniversaries, kids' birthdays, triumphs, um, 
even the sad kind of times in life and you just need some ice cream, we want that space to be available to all of Fresno. Um, and so we hope that our one of our taglines is ampersand ice cream or ampersand where ice cream and community meet and that we really want our products and our environment to inspire community development. Also to develop community, we plan on, after about a year of being open and being established, we want to start working with nonprofits and doing mm -hmm. some work training um, programs with um, either women who have um, been, you know, in abusive situations and need to get back on their feet and they are, think they might be good in food, or if it's um, working with other nonprofits that are doing amazing things in Fresno, getting people homeless people or just people that are down their luck to kind of gain new skills to enter the workforce. And if we can get them their food cert safety certifications and, and that through our business, then that's more benefit to the overall community in Fresno. <sighs> I sure hope so. I, I think so. I think so. I think there's there's been the right movements and recently uh, with a lot more of the craft beer and a lot of the restaurants that have opened up recently they're a little bit more um, you know you have dusty buns you have the schoolhouse uh, restaurant out in Sanger you have a lot of these restaurants that are really kind of pushing the ends of cul culinary at least to the Fresno eye and they've been successful and so I think the next step in that is ice cream